Hey guys, I just purchased this new mini lathe from Harbor Freight and this video is going to be the unboxing. I want to see if it survived the shipping in the box and make sure that uh, there's no broken pieces or anything that we're going to need to fix. So it was it's uh, shipped in a cardboard box with plywood on the top or bottom and a metal ribbon around it. So I'm calling this an early Father's Day gift to myself. Although I did also purchase a drum sander and I was calling that an early Father's Day gift to myself too. So it's uh, been a good Father's Day this year. I'm going to make another video after this on the assembly and then after the assembly I'm going to make another video on the first run. So let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing and see if everything has survived. Oh, and before I do that I will say uh, this mini lathe from Harbor Freight was originally $669 and I purchased it uh, with that 20% off coupon that you often get from Harbor Freight and I purchased it for uh, $535 alright let's tear into it alright let's start by cutting this metal ribbon off I'm pretty excited about this project by the way uh, the main thing I want to build, well, I'll tell you what I want to build later, it doesn't matter. Let's just stay focused on the unboxing. Okay, cut this metal ribbon off. Tear the top plywood that was on there. Let's move, move this coffee. get stuck by any of these nails. I love this knife. pretty excited about this. It's just for uh, it's for hobby use. I'm planning on making, uh, I have a few different projects in mind, but the main project, the main project that I have in mind, it's weird talking on the camera when I can't see my face. I thought, anyway, uh, the main project that I have in mind is I want to build an internal combustion engine. So whether or not I'll actually get around to that or not is another story, but um, that's why I bought it. It's because I wanted to try to build an internal combustion engine, cast, cast some metal, turn it on here and see if I can get that to work so let's continue the unboxing and I'm just gonna do a quick view here of it and I'll bring the camera over and give you a look but uh, just to make sure that everything survived It weighs 90 pounds, by the way. Directions. Won't be needing those. This doesn't have any handles or anything, really, to grab it out with. Uh, and it weighs 90 pounds, so it's a little hard to take out of the styrofoam on here. So I'm just going to cut the styrofoam away from it. Okay, so here it is with most of the box taken off except for the bottom. And I'm about to flip it over on its back because it turns out that I think it's actually screwed down to the bottom board to keep it moving around. Because I was trying to lift it. It's 90 pounds, but it, it won't lift off here. So I think it's screwed down to this bottom part of the board. I'm going to take that off now and then set it back up here. So far at first glance, I just took a quick glance at everything, nothing looks broken but we'll find out uh, more about that when I do the assembly.
Okay guys, I've unboxed it. It was fun. It's always fun opening new thing, new tools. And uh, it's got a box of gear. I'll just run through it quickly. It's got a box of gears here. It's got some, looks like some feet that go on the bottom. It's got a little thing for oil, for oiling. Um, it comes with your handles that you're going to have to assemble. It comes with a set of Allen wrenches. Set of regular wrenches there to help put it together. Comes with your uh, tail stock there, and actually I I bought another one. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But then it comes with a protective cover for the chuck, and then a protective covering for um, the tool holder, and then here a bag of uh, jaws, chuck key, and that's pretty much it. And then everything else is all all ready together and ready to go. So, next video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the assembly of it and get it all put together. But also, I thought I'd show you, uh, because when I, I bought this, I went ahead and bought some stuff off Amazon too. So, I'd have the com complete kind of set up and be ready to go. So, um, I'll show you quickly some of the other stuff I got to go with this. This is the quick change tool set. This is a new uh, tail live center some oil cutting fluid, some layout fluid, some aluminum black, and a drill chuck, calipers, center bits, cutting tools, boring tool, and a parting tool. So I should be, I think, all set at least to get started. And um, I'll build some projects soon. I'm looking forward to it. If you watch, thanks for watching. Cheers.